Well, the countdown is on. We're just three weeks away until the city of Toronto has a new council. But some um, candidates tell me they're experiencing some challenges when it comes to their election signage. They say they're either being stolen or damaged. So you caught somebody on camera taking down your sign, right? That is correct. I, uh, I happened by coincidence. I caught him in camera, and he gave me a rough time. And and then also I got him, and uh, he actually he has the audacity to call me. So I have his phone. I have his phone, but right now it's under the police investigation. On this particular size, I would uh, I would spend about a thousand dollars. It's coming up. Yeah. And a lot of manpower to put up all these signs and then to see them on the ground in the garbage. How does that make you feel? Terrible. You are talking about manpower. It is indeed manpower. It's very labor intensive. That is why I may be one of the few who is putting up signs on a lamppost. And James Chow isn't the only one who's had his election signs taken. Stephen Sizek has had over 800 signs taken, right? And we've had uh, almost a mile of signs taken on Don Mills. On Don Mills, we've had about 500 signs, not damaged, but literally taken and removed, gone. We've had another 300 on Leslie. Uh, we've had some damage from kids. I've actually caught a couple kids uh, pulling signs up. You were saying that you pulled up to somebody who was, I was ripping off your sign, right? I was watching a group of three kids walking along, and they were walking along, and they were, they were just pulling the signs off and throwing them down. Um, I stopped and had a, uh, a chat with them. They decided they would volunteer for my campaign, and they would put all the signs back that they took down, and then some. And both candidates tell me they have reported the mischief to police. It is illegal to damage or take election signs.